This is my boyfriend. Hello. And this is an AI replica of him. I am him. Hey, look, the robot's got game. And I'm gonna see if I can tell the difference between them through a series of challenges. If I guess the wrong stack, I have to burn $100 from this stack of cash. Let's get started. For the first round, I'm gonna kiss each of their hands blindfolded, starting with person number one. I don't wanna touch the AI. Mm. <laughs> this is tougher than I thought. The second one, right underneath your chin. <laughs> okay, the second one felt hard and cold. The first one, little did I know they were trying to switch up the orders to confuse me. The first one kind of jerked back a little. So it makes me think the first one is Zach. Did I get it right? <laughs> <laughs> no way! Okay, yeah, yeah, you got it right, Michelle. <laughs> I got the first round correct. Let's see how I do in round two. For round two, we're doing a QA. and a I have the answers from AI me. I'm going to be speaking on its behalf so Michelle can't tell any difference. They're very similar to what I would say. I think Michelle's going to struggle on this one. As we were getting started, Zach and Ben decided to pull a prank on me. Would you rather be hot or cold? Cold all night, baby. Ew! I had a feeling this wasn't Zach. Got that dog in me for real. Bark, bark, shoddy, what's up? Ew, that sounds more like Ben. Okay, anyway, second question. I knew it's you. <laughs> Do you prefer to be hot or cold? Cold, because you can always put on more layers. That is what Zach would say. What do you like to do after work? Sauna and ice bath. What was your first impression of me? Giggly and cute. That's sweet. Giggly and pretty. Ugh, this is tough. Do you prefer to shower in the morning or at night? In the morning after my workout. This one really could be Zach. What's your favorite meal that I've cooked for you? Pasta. What kind of pasta? A lot of them. Zach doesn't like to be very specific with things. At what age do you see yourself getting married? Maybe in a couple years. That sounds like a Zach answer. How do you like to spend your time with me? Watching shows with you. Okay, hopefully this question can make me really determine if this is Zach or not. Who are your top three K-pop crushes? Lisa, Karina, Kazaha. Kazaha. Zach sent me a list the other day and wrote Jenny as number three. So I'm not sure if that's correct. Now I have to make a decision. I feel like the AI's answers. answers are very close to what Zach would say. This is really hard. Both person one and person two have very similar answers. I feel like there's one question she might be able to tell them. It's the K-pop question. The AI I got it wrong. All right, I think I have my answer. Zach is person two. Yeah, you got it right! Yeah! I thought the giveaway was the K-pop list. That was an outdated list. Kazaha moved down to number four. Jenny's number three. Karina is still number two. Very close to number one. And Lisa is number one. I was right! Yeah, you were right. Round two was also a success. Time to move on to round three. For the next round, AI Zach and Zach will be making me a sandwich. Do you even like sandwiches? I love sandwiches. What since when? I've never seen Zach make a sandwich before. All right, I'm going to go into the other room. You guys have fun. It's going to be disgusting. I have been programmed to make the best sandwiches. The robot about Zach generated its own recipe, and Jake and Mackenzie are going to help make it. Whoa, what's this? Bologna. Bologna? But I think you should be grabbing bread first. Wait, I've always wanted to do this. Jake, you're an idiot sandwich. No. My sandwich order is pretty simple. I like meat, cheese, and vegetables, so it shouldn't be hard to mess up. I think Michelle likes cucumbers a lot. Avocado? Pickles. Wait, aren't pickles just cucumbers? It looks like Zach was having some trouble. Your toppings are not evenly spread out. Does it need to be? Two, two bologna. Even though I absolutely hate tomatoes, I think tomatoes go on sandwiches. Zach touching tomatoes is something I, I never so. thought I would see. Eat one. Nasty. Turkey breast. Yeah. Is it fine to have flaps on the side? Just apply it. Oh, God. Butter. Oh, God. This man has never made a sandwich in his life. <laughs> some honey mustard. It's all about presentation. It's uh, not about flavor at all. And Zach even gave his sandwich some style. That's what the fancy restaurants do. He's giving Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, I've been watching too much MasterChef. Ta-da! You're trying to win this challenge, right? I wouldn't touch that sandwich with a 10-foot pole. All right, you're up. Don't mess up my recipe. Time to see how AI Zach does. One ripe avocado slice. Bam. Lettuce leaves. The robot sandwich looks pretty good so far, until it did this. AI, do you want us to put mustard on it? Yes. It's going to be so good. Nice! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. And now it's time for a taste test. Wow, these are two very lovely sandwiches. I see one is cut up and one is whole with like a cool condiment garnish on the side. I love tomato, avocado, pickles in my sandwiches. I do not like mustard, so I hope none of them have mustard in it. But I like honey mustard. I think this one looks like it tastes really good. And with the first bite, there was immediately something I didn't like. 
I hate mustard. Everyone that knows me knows I can eat anything, but this I cannot eat. Hopefully the second sandwich doesn't have mustard. This one's delicious. I love this one. This one has mustard, but it tastes like honey mustard. This is hard. I love this sandwich very, very much. And it has pickles, and I love pickles. This one has mustard. However, this one's so clean and nice. I feel like Zach would put something that I don't like in there, not knowing I don't like it. Zach is very artsy, so I feel like he would do the garnish. I can't tell! I think I've made my decision. Because I love this sandwich so much, I'm gonna say this one is Zach's. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah Michelle! Oh my god, I got it right! Oh my goodness, I made a good sandwich! Oh my god, I'm so proud of you! I had a lucky guess with the honey mustard. The AI said that's the best sandwich to make for your lover. You are wrong. And you need to make more sandwiches for me. I do. I'm gonna have more of your sandwich. Thank you. Michelle, it says what the transition is at the bottom. Right there. Okay. Right there at the bottom, it says. For this round, I'm gonna have my boyfriend Zach and AI Zach pick out a gift from this table. And go! Ooh, speakers. And as they're picking out the gift, let me tell you about our sponsor, Timu. Timu is celebrating their anniversary and becoming the number one free app in the App Store by having a surprise sale. Do you want this? Yes. New shoppers that use the link down below can find thousands of $1 Timu gems. These tumblers from Timu are only $1.30 during the anniversary sale. And you can use this 50% discount code to save even more. <laughs> I like that, Sam. And if you want this OLED Switch or popular Switch games, you'll get a surprise price today. They're also launching a top picks list curated by all of Timu's biggest influencers, alongside a best sales list so you can find all the best items in one place. I've been using Timu and the deals are insane. I got this cute little plushie that's also a blanket for 95% off. <gasps> oh my god! Timu is amazing. I like How do I like? This one's so cute and fluffy. Oh, this is so functional. I like this. Which one I would rather bring home? This pile! What? It's not me! You know I like cute stuff. How'd you get a cute thing? Look. Wait, Michelle, you lost $100? Yeah. Well, good thing you're getting sponsored by Timu. Thank you, Timu. Click the link in the description to access the top picks and the best sales list. New users using my link will be able to check out the $1 Timu gems and my picks. This special sale only lasts to the end of September, so go download Timu now. To the next round. Now we have the smell test. For this round, Zach is putting his deodorant on himself and the robot. Here's the first man. This person smelled really good. I'm getting a whiff. Okay. And then number two. I don't smell anything. But the second person's smell was a little bit different. <laughs> I don't smell anything. I'm really nervous about making this decision. The first one had a whiff of deodorant, which is the one that Zach normally wears. I think Zach is number one. <laughs> Michelle! You did have the deodorant on! I did! I put it on myself too! I smell it on him! No, Nothing. I do have it on. So basically what Michelle's saying is AI smells better. He smells better than you! Now I have to burn more. You know what? Actually, you do smell a little bit of sweat. Because I'm a human and I sweat. It was a bit embarrassing that I didn't know the smell of my own boyfriend. Hopefully I do better the next round. I'm going to have them design a ring for me. Why a ring? Because I want to make sure you know what my ideal ring would be. Oh, a one with a diamond. Yeah! Lucky guess. All right, I'll be gone for five minutes. They should just stop drawing rings and Zach should just get Michelle a real one. Seems like Michelle's trying to push for this whole marriage thing. Yes, I am. I hope they design a ring that's circular with a big diamond. I'm not sure if this is anything special, but I hope she likes it. And while Zach is designing his ring, the robot has already generated over a thousand designs to find the perfect one for me. The AI generated this ring. They both look pretty similar. Zach and AI Zach have budget. All right, give me the drawings. <gasps> This one has a giant diamond. I like this one. Why are you shaking your head? This one also has a giant diamond. I need to compare which one has the bigger diamond. Which one knows what's up? Well, this one has the bigger one. This one right here has the bigger one. However, I don't like this around the ring. I don't know what it's called. Diamond studs? I don't like that many diamonds around the ring. I like it on top of the ring like this. Oh, well, this one's gonna be hard to choose. I actually don't know which one's yours and which one's the AI one. Okay, I think they're both wonderful, but I have one that I slightly like more. I'm gonna choose this one. Oh, I did make that. <laughs> Let me redraw your diamond how it should be. That's her finger and that's the diamond. Now that I have my perfect wedding ring, it's time to move on to the round that I've been looking forward to the most. For the final round, they're gonna write their wedding round. I feel like Michelle's hinting at something, but I don't know what. All right, let's get started. I wonder what Zach's gonna say. It looks like Zach's trying his best. I am trying. He's not a very emotional person. He might write like really rational vows. The AI Zach looks like he's done. Oh, 
Hi. Hello, human. I'm really excited to read it. And I really hope I don't get it wrong. Okay, they're both sent. All right, number one. I'm pretending like I am hearing this on my wedding day. I'm going to be honest. I didn't think I'd end up here marrying a Tinder date. I thought I'd swipe, match, maybe get lucky, and probably never see you again. Wait, why am I crying? I don't think I can keep reading it. Why am I crying? As I kept reading, I got more emotional. I know that I want to continue loving you and continue finding out all the little things that make you love my life. And it ended with a very cute inside joke. Lisa and Karina could never. Tissue, please. The first vows were really sweet. Michelle getting emotional was really precious, though. Okay, let's see if the second person gives me the same effect. I don't really know what to say for my wedding vow, but I do know that I care about you a lot and you mean a lot to me. So far, I don't think I'm getting as emotional. As much as I talk about my favorite K-pop idols, you are the best by far. Hoping for many years to come, my wedding vow at our wedding will be better, I promise. No one didn't make me cry at all. So I feel like the second one is that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did get it right. That's me. Yeah, I, I tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you spend more time on our wedding vows in the future. In the end, no robot can ever replace the boyfriend I love. Our bond is one of a kind and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Just remember, love is all about celebrating those beautiful imperfections. Let's go burn the money. I have a thousand dollars, but I ended up having to burn 200 of it. But I'm not actually gonna burn it. I'm gonna donate it to an educational foundation. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Right, well, I can't believe you I cried. I can't believe you either. How'd I you cry for it? How'd you cry for a oh, robot? I'm it's a robot! Michael is a robot! <laughs>